Hello everybody, how you doing? I hope you're all doing really well. Welcome back to my channel. Those of you who are eagle eyed, you might be like, that's how Luke ended his video last time. I'm just continuing it from the Paris vlog, which you would have seen before this went live. Today is November the 2nd, November 2nd, wow. The days are just going so quick. So yes, today is November 2nd and we are off to celebrate bonfire night. It's kind of like been a weird year this year because Halloween what, like fell midweek. So we were away in Paris when it was actually Halloween on the 31st of October. And then we came back and a lot of people are going out this evening for Halloween. But myself and Zara have been invited to a place in South London called Crystal Palace. And we're going to watch the fireworks this evening because Guy Fawkes Night is on the 5th of November. Which I think might have been by the time this vlog goes live. I need to have a sit down and think of when everything's going to go live. And my head's just like... Um, but yes, we're going to Crystal Palace. The weather is not so great. I'm not going to lie. It's... um. It's kind of miserable. I'm, I'm not really sure if Bonfire Night's like a thing that's celebrated. Is Bonfire Night celebrated globally or is it just in the UK? This guy Fawkes was English and he tried to blow up Parliament. So then like, do they yeah, celebrate? I'm sure they do. Really? Maybe it's just a British thing. Let me know down below, anyone from the States or Europe, if you celebrate Bonfire Night. But we're about to head out. Let me show you the weather quickly. It's not looking great. Do you know what the annoying thing is? It's been actually fine for the past like maybe hour or so. And then the minute we're heading out, it's going to be ugh. But I've just checked the weather app. Let me have a look. So I've just checked the weather app and it's meant to be raining up until 6 o'clock and then it's kind of okay for two hours and then raining for the rest, so hey-ho. But it's not too cold, 13 degrees is pretty decent. But yeah, the rain is falling, so I need to grab some umbrellas and I'll catch you guys once we get to Crystal Palace. I actually don't know how to get there, so we should maybe look before we go, but yeah. I'll vlog once we're there, we need to pick up our tickets and I think we're going to just have a little wander around because the fireworks aren't until later and it's only half past three now. collected our tickets. I was so excited. So me and Zara have just came for a little drink pre-firework display. We've got two of our tickets. These were very kindly gifted by Crystal Palace which is so lovely and um, so we're very excited to go in and the doors open at five o'clock so we've got loads of time. We were just saying it's like we obviously just been in Paris and then um, if you didn't know, if you didn't know said many times um, but now that we're back in London hearing non-French is weird we're like oh yeah we actually understand that I mean Zara's basically fluent in French aren't you yeah. <laughs> debatable I was trying to think of the word <laughs> yeah. yeah I was like oh, yeah we um, we're just about to enter La Entree La Entree <laughs> we're just about to enter Bat not Battersea Park Crystal Palace Park we've just had a little beer a little cider nice and warm um, we've got two hours until the fireworks start apparently, so we're just going to have a little wander around. Question, sorry to interrupt, but yeah. Yeah? Do you reckon they will have more wine? Do you know what, right? I was thinking that earlier, especially when we're in the, um, when we're in the pub. Mold wine, I feel like maybe, potentially, definitely it a hot chocolate. November. I was about to say, it's not, when I'm filming this November 2nd, as I've said, but definitely a hot chocolate, if not mold hot wine. Chocolate, latte, cheese. Have you had a mold cider before? No, I'm reading the thing. <laughs> oh. Um, In answer to Zara's question outside when she said, do you think they do mulled wine? They do mulled wine! So happy. This is going to be our first mulled wine of the season and I'm fully, fully here for it. Okay, so we have just got our mulled wine. Very, very nice. Genuinely, I was saying this is my, probably my favourite all-time winter drink. Like, I love hot chocolates, I love all the whiskey and the brandy and everything. Do you remember my first ever one was only last Did you spill it? Oh God, Zara. Your first mulled wine was... Last Christmas, do you remember in Clapham? No. Where, do, where were we, we in Clapham? We went to the Clapham Winter Wonderland. Oh, of course. So we were just saying, mulled wine's really, really delicious if you have a little shot in it as well. Well, I was reading it anyway. I usually like cognac or brandy. Very, very nice. Amaretto is good too. Yeah. I'm just going to say happy Christmas. <laughs> one of the many things I do love about this type of thing is the port -aloo. We're in a port -aloo. And apparently this one isn't even attached to the, um, the ground. So it's like rocking. So I was like, stop it, it's rocking. Bonjour! <laughs> Why is it rocking? It like moves. Sorry. Yeah, that's not a stable port do. We've just scouted out the food options and there's uh, already spotted one that was actually near her work, so I think that's a sword. And uh, we're coming for the ceremonial lighting of the bonfire. It starts in like, what, like 10 minutes or something? Do you know what? It's actually really cool because oh we've- Oh my god, you get the next start and that's all Oh, okay. Maybe they're building the suspense or they're having trouble lighting, but it's in the shape of a falcon, let me show you. So they've lit up all of the arches over there and then this right here, if I can see it. So this is the falcon and I think they're going to light it up.
How are we all? Um, sorry I didn't finish the vlog last night. I'm going to be vlogging today as well. We went to the fireworks display and it was absolutely amazing. Really, really had a good time. Um, anyone who's based in London, more so South London, but I guess you could travel for it. Definitely recommend it. It's £10 entry and it was, as this is our, probably one of the best fireworks displays, if not the best fireworks display I've ever seen. I feel like you should show everyone what you did when you came home. Oh yeah, also, let me just grab my phone. <laughs> From the top, hey, there he goes again. Hey. So yeah, um, that happened. <laughs> this morning we're gonna make some crepes because we're well and truly still in the French spirit of doing things. We're gonna make some crepes with some strawberries and some Nutella. Go to the gym, and um, today's plan is that we're gonna be making a roast dinner. We're having our friend Sherry come round, um, and we're gonna be doing a roast Sunday roast, and that's gonna be the plan for today. Just a nice chill one, nothing too major. Um, Zara's kindly doing my laundry for me, how lovely is that? We've got a lot of washing after going to Paris, so um, yeah. I've also just put a YouTube video live, I feel like this morning's a hive of activity. Mm. The first mission is crepes. That's for these. Sorry, I genuinely do believe this is one of the best things we've ever done. In Paris, if you saw the Paris vlog, which you will have seen before this goes live, we had the Kinder Crepe, which was delightful. That was, think, at that point, that was the best thing we'd done. Mm, but I think we've just trumped it. We've just put Nutella, well, Aldi's version of Nutella, which is like a chocolate hazelnut spread, and Terry's chocolate orange. Is Terry's chocolate orange a global thing? It is, you can get them everywhere. Basically, if you don't know what they are, it's like an orange segment with chocolate in it. You usually have them at Christmas. Mm, but we're putting them in crepes. It was my idea. It was. And some strawberries as well. Strawberries and chocolate is like, honestly, oh, so good. And genuinely, this crepe pan, it was what we bought in a vlog a couple of weeks back in Oxford. It's brilliant. Very, very happy with that. Holy moly. Okay, so we've just finished up our gym session. It was quite good. I feel like we we needed it after those. How many pancakes did we end up having? Well, I said three, we had but three, we but we shared, shared them, so one and a half, mm -hmm. and they weren't that bad, really, were they? No. Um, just in our Aldi grocery shop, got all the bits and bobs for our roast dinner. We are going to Tesco because Sherry's gluten free, so we've got to go get some gluten free flour because we are that accommodating, aren't we? Yes. We are. Um, and that's all we're gonna do. Head back, shower, give the flat a quick spruce, and um. I'll catch you guys once I start making the roast dinner. To be fair, I would show you what we bought in Aldi, but it was just it's a bit dead this way. veggies. But I will do another one of those soon because I know you all really enjoyed it. But yeah, Whitney's on now, so I'll stop blocking. Hi guys, so Sherry has left now. I didn't really vlog while she was here. It was really nice to just chill. Oh, it's very reflective. Just chill and catch up with her. We were just saying as well that the pumpkins are gonna need a go because today is October. No, today is November 3rd, sorry, not October 3rd. So the pumpkins and skulls are gonna need to go ready for our Christmas attire that's coming very, very soon. Can I have that, please? <laughs> no, Zara, no. So we've decided that we're gonna set a date of, it sounds like we're announcing a wedding. Um, we're setting a date of, <laughs> Looking for a piggyback. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the moon's beautiful. We've decided that we're going to set a date around mid mid November is when we're going to put the garlands up, and then we're going to get our Christmas tree the last set no the last Sunday of November ready for December first because we're going to get a real Christmas tree. I know a lot of people don't like real Christmas trees, but we love them. So that's going to be the plan. I'm going to end the vlog here because we're just going to be having a really chill evening. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed it. It's got you in the festive mood. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe, and I'll catch you guys very very soon. Bye for now.